Question two. You had a great preseason camp that kind of carried over to the game. How did you, how did you feel out there? Um, honestly, it felt really great. Um, first off, being back home. Um, and actually just, I mean, it was really exciting for me um, to see, you know, how far I've come, like, throughout the summer or spring, just working on my preparation and technique and finally letting it loose. Felt really great. It was like you had a chance to play back home again. Feels great. I mean, it reminds me of, like, me coming back out of high school all over again, the atmosphere, um, just the people here, and being able to go to work with these guys on the field each and every day. <laughs> I had to get a lot. I had to get a lot. A lot of family, friends wanted to come. Some people haven't watched me play in years, so everybody was pretty excited to see me play again. That touchdown, you made a nice move. How, how, how good did it feel to get that and get in the end zone first game? Um, it felt really great, but I first off, you know, shout out to my offense alignment, you know, for holding up um, in order for me to make that play and probably delivering a great ball to me and me just executing and um, just working myself like I do at practice in, in the game and um, execute it very well. So thoroughly great. You led the team in receptions last game. Uh, can you talk about kind of your uh, synergy with Michael Pratt? Just you know, what's your dynamic with him like? I mean, we just we just work every day. I mean, we try to get our connection down as best as we can. I mean, we do a lot of things during practice, after practice, we even watch film, you know, talk over things. And not just me and Pratt, but like us as a group, as, as, re as receivers, you know, just getting our connection and timing down. So when it comes to the game, it'd be, you know, just fluid. How much of a confidence builder was this last game, especially after last season, um, just for you guys? And how do you carry that momentum into this next week? I mean, I look at it as, you know, an, an accomplishment. Um, and right now we're back to 0-0. So Right now, we're just focusing on today's practice and tomorrow, tomorrow's practice. Um, there's always a saying, you practice how you play. So, I mean, each and every day, I mean, we just come and just give it all we have. What's the biggest, biggest focus that you guys are wanting to improve on from week one to week two? Um, just getting better, honestly. Just um, improving on some of the things that we could have done better last game and, you know, making sure those things don't happen again. What is it? Success you experienced at your previous stop before here, when, when these guys, especially after last year, trying to trying to come back after that. What, what, what kind of mentality have you been able to bring in there? Um, I'll just say um, just leadership, um, just being me at the end of the day, um, coming to practice, just working, and and you know motivating others around me. You know, like we're in this together. So I feel like that was very huge coming here. But I also felt like these guys already had that. Um, established already. I just came in, you know, just added my talent and, you know, stuff to it. So, played for somebody like Coach Reese. What, what did you What did you learn from him that you still take out of the field every day? Somebody that you know, was around the game for as long as he was. Um, honestly, just come ready to work every day. I mean. You come to work. I mean, you practice how you play. Um, like I said previously, um, and that's something I really learned from him. So, I've been living with that ever since. You know, I came here. Thank you. Thank you. Appreciate it.